My name is Dean Canal Andre Jens, and I'm a mechanic here at HWP. My name is Harry Andrews. I'm the vice president of the HWP Group Cycle Division. A motorcycle technician basically is looking to diagnose the problem of the bike and basically fix the bike, uh, make sure it's safe for the roads of Bermuda. Also, if, it, if necessary, get it prepared for TCD. They also diagnose furthermore if further work will need to be done on the bike down the road, kind of, um, kind of preventative maintenance kind of idea as well. On an everyday basis, I would say I do services, tire changes, a bit of electrical work. I do TCD preparation, and I do my fair share of engine jobs as well. An apprentice basically is, starts off very, very slow. Um, we need to find out exactly what their skill sets are because everyone does have different skill sets when they come out of school. Tire changes, general services, changing plugs, changing oils, very basic stuff. Nothing real in depth where it's going to really kind of make them a bit nervous of what they're doing because you don't want to just throw them in the deep end right away generally. The passion really started was actually hanging around my cousin now that, that it comes to me and their dad, always talking about cars, bikes, read magazines. My young cousin, his racing down south side, you know, and I mean, that's, that's got me licking my chest, you know, I wanna do that too, you know. I think uh, around the first time, time I really became interested in motorcycles was when I first came, got up Cedar Bridge. I took the automotive class there and I absolutely loved it. Pretty much every time I went home, I was underneath my bike, just playing with that poor thing. Yeah, the education of a motorcycle mechanic basically starts off, like most people, with a high school diploma. That is the springboard of the education process. Abroad, there are various institutes which can be attended by the locals here. It is a two-year program. However, there is an advanced program for people that want to kind of get through it a little bit quicker. Um, it, it takes about seven months for the advanced program. After that, you basically you come back home, you become an apprentice at the place that you desire to work. That's where you, you're using your selling skills and really getting on board. The apprenticeship program generally lasts about a year. Um, that's a time where you can really get your skills honed in, get comfortable with the workshop, the working of the workshop, meeting of the team, working with the team, using all the stuff you've learned from your book knowledge and doing it hands on. Career path is basically they're going to go from an apprentice then to a, a tradesman, skilled tradesman, and then they also, they, what they aspire to is to get to the A1 mechanic level. When they're there, they, they basically have what they call their papers. Um, a TCD will register them as an as a A1 technician, and um, the sky's the limit from there. The skills of a motorcycle technician are basically diagnosing problems. And, and actually being able to fix them. There's some diagnostic equipment that's needed now um, where there is some computer skills required. They need to be self-motivated. And you also have to be able to work under pressure. There are deadlines that we have. There are customer demands that we need to meet. Also, your personality. You, know, you need to be a, a people person because you are interacting with people on a daily basis. You're, actually, you're interacting with your fellow workers. You're interacting with your boss. And you're also interacting with the community. I would recommend this job for anybody who has a real passion for mechanics. I wouldn't say that it's just something for boys. It's, it's absolutely something that females can do as well because when I was old in school, I, I met some young ladies that their knowledge of motorcycles made me feel kind of small. It's, it's like something deep rooted in a person to be interested in technology, to have that, that drive to just want to take your hands, you know, where most people would say, I really don't want to get my hands dirty, you know, but you know, you dip your hands in, in oil and it's like, you know, it's like nothing, you know? It's like, I like this, you know? We do work with the NTB looking to foster a good relationship with young Bermudians who are looking to get into the trade. Uh, the NTB also offers some financial assistance as, well, as well as just advice on, on where to go for education. So those two things together really gives the, the individual a good platform to start from. They, they are there to help you out at, at the NTB. We're really looking for some quite switched on 
young Bermudians who are talented, who want to make a difference, who want to you know, contribute to their community. Um, so if, if, if you're up for that challenge, you know, the sky's the limit and, and, and that we'll look forward to seeing you.